Okay, so I finished watching the movie like two hours ago. Shakira's still on my mind. Okay, now I just want to listen to Shakira. That's how it is. Hey guys, what's up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here, back with another movie review. God, I haven't said that in so long. I'm sorry, guys. Um, guys, I do not have the poster for the movie I'm reviewing, but I do have it on my phone, and why not? All right, yeah, yeah you guys can't see that. Okay, it's blown out to hell. Let me just increase the logo of the movie. Boom, there you go. You can kind of see that. Zootopia, that's right, guys. I have a movie review for Zootopia because, yes, I went to the theater and saw Zootopia today. Now, I bet half of the people who haven't seen this movie are going to start commenting, Mike, why don't you go see little kids' movie? Uh, it's just for little kids. You know, you got uh, London Has Fallen is out. The the sequel, the, the, the 80 million Die Hard ripoff. Or uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane, which I heard was really good. I will go see that, I swear. Um, is that why would you go see the... Yeah! Um... I'll tell you guys why. <laughs> no, see, it, it, before I get into the movie and everything, guys, real, really, really quick, I, I, I made this Facebook post this morning um, letting everybody know I am so sincere, and on my, my Autobot Mikey Teen Facebook page, I let all of you guys know I am so sincerely sorry for this last week just being so sparse with videos and just not getting anything out. I had a lot of stuff going on, not only with school, but I had personal family issues as well. I'm not going to get into it at this point. I'm okay. Everything's okay. It's just like so much, so like so much weight. And uh, that is why I did not get many videos out. I, I deeply apologize for that, guys. Um, but I did see a movie this weekend. I, you know, took the afternoon off. I had a great time at the theater. I went to the movies with my girlfriend, and we decided to see Zootopia. And now here I am with my review. And yes, I am outside school. I'm about to go in after I shoot this review. And I have another review to shoot for The Witch, which I saw like two weeks ago. So sorry I haven't gotten that review up. But, um... I'll, uh, I'll, get, I'll give you guys that review this weekend as well. So I'll upload them this weekend. I'll probably do Zootopia first, then The Witch. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's why I'm shooting this on my camcorder in my car. Anyway, guys, Zootopia, okay? Now, yes, I know. I didn't even think I was going to go see this movie. But I'll tell you this. I When my girlfriend and I were like, what movie should we go see? This or 10 Cloverfield Lane? Before that, like, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to see Zootopia. The movie's been getting crazy good reviews. And I'm hearing that this is not a movie for kids. Not in the sense, yes, it's an animated movie. It's a movie for, you know, little kids are going to obviously be, they're going to be packed in the theater. And there were a ton of little kids in this theater. But I've been hearing from every review and everywhere that this is a movie that adults are going to connect with so well that is why I decided to go see this movie. I was like, shit, yeah, I'll go see it. And man, oh man, was everybody right. This is a movie that every single adult is going to connect with in some way, okay? Yeah. Um, so go see it. <laughs> Before I, I get into the promoting me saying, yeah, 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 go see it, uh, let me give you a little basic plot synopsis without any spoilers. Now, Zootopia came out last week, so I did see it a week later, but... Um, the movie is a it's a Disney release, and we focus on the main character of Judy Hopps. First of all, we are in the fictional world of Zootopia, where animals wear clothes and talk and own stores and con people, and there's a whole animal police force. Okay, and we focus on Judy Hopps. She is a bunny with some big aspirations. She's had some big aspirations to become a police officer, to make a difference in the world ever since she was a young bunny. Um, and she grows up, she goes to the whole police academy, graduates at the top of their class, and gets put on the Zootopia police force. She meets up with a con artist, Sly Fox, known as Nick Wilde. And uh, the two of them, it's up to the two of them to crack this uh, case of these missing animals that have gone missing in the city. And this is her first big assignment. She wants to make a really good impression on, like, the chief of police, like this giant rhinoceros guy. And, um, <laughs> and it, you know, this is her chance to make the impact that she's always wanted to as a young child. And right off the bat, that's your movie. That's the premise of the movie. Now... I want to, I want to, this one disclaimer 
to anyone who's going to take their young four-year-old son or daughter in this movie, that's great. They're going to have a fun time. They're going to look at this movie. They're going to like, oh, look at the pretty colors. Oh, look at the look at the animals. Do I think they're going to understand the deeper meanings of what this movie is trying to say, the deeper story behind what's trying to be said? No, they're not. No kid in their, in their right mind is going to get it. Um, and that's fine, okay? Because the kids are going to have something to enjoy just the the animation, some of the humor, and I would say the characters in general, the main characters of Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, the kids are going to go nuts over, and that's going to be their their number one stuffed animal on their Christmas list at the end of the year. They want a Judy Hopps and a Nick Wilde. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's, that's it. That's what the kids are going to take away from this movie. Adults and teenagers... You're going to take away so much more from this movie. Zootopia, guys, I'm not shitting you. This is one of the most powerful and relevant, relevant animated films I have seen in a very, very long time. Yes, it is. Okay? And it's very relevant for... And th that, that is the best word I have to describe this movie. I think, I personally, I think this movie is going to be relevant for many, many years to come. And that's a good thing. Because Zootopia, on the one hand, they're painting the story of this one bunny cop who doesn't fit in because she's a bunny and they're, they don't hire bunnies on the police force. They don't have bunnies on the police force. And then we have a fox who is just looked at as this criminal, you know, con artist and is basically outcasted by everyone in society because he's a fox, okay? And people don't trust foxes. What I'm getting from this is a story so deep a story about discrimination and prejudice and how everybody outcasts everybody in this society, in this world of these animals because they're different or because of what they look like. They, they're, they're not, um, they're, there's essentially two groups that are looked at in this movie. We have the prey, which is all of the like sheep and the bunnies and the, um, I don't know, and the, the slots and everything. Then we have our predators, our lions, our foxes, our, um, I don't know, our polar bears, our wolves. They are all sort of being frowned upon as the film progresses because they're looked at as the predators, okay? And, uh, guys, this movie just spoke to me so well as a young man growing up in a society where there's so much hate, there's so much discrimination on, on and off my campus, just around, just within the world around me, I've witnessed it myself. I personally, maybe I haven't gone through as much discrimination as other people experience in their life. So I would say, yes, I am, you know, more lucky in that sense, but I've noticed what other people have gone through and I've heard stories and it's heartbreaking. It is. It, it's hard and it hurts to have to hear what people go through because of their skin color. And I'm not just talking skin color. I'm talking their gender, their religion, their beliefs. Okay. I, yeah, I've, I've dealt with problems like that before. I've had, you know, I've witnessed it. I've dealt with it myself. Persecution of it, 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 it everything. And that is what this movie is trying to say. It's trying to say that we are all equal. We all may look different. We all may have our own different beliefs. We all may, you know, we're different sexes. We're of the different sexes. But we're all the same person. And nobody should be treated better or privileged above the other because we're, we look a certain way or, or we act a certain way or something like that. You know what I mean? And that is just where Zootopia hit me so hard and spoke to me so much and so strongly about what it's trying us to say about how we've become as a society, how we look at people of, of a certain race or of a certain ethnicity or, or whatever, okay? And, and it, it just has such a beautiful message that, you know, that that's what goes on in this society. And by, you know, insinuating prejudice as our main character, as one of, as our main character goes through in this movie at one point, hits their lowest low. And I love that sequence in the film where our main character becomes the very person who's insinuating discrimination or prejudice on, on, on a group of people. Okay. Um, unintentionally almost. 
and you don't even realize you're doing it. And that's what happens in our society. We don't even realize that we're discriminating against another group of people. And it's just a tragic, shameful thing. And I love how Disney actually had the balls to make this movie now. It is so damn crucial that they release this movie now, which is why I'm saying this is such a culturally relevant piece of filmmaking and why I love this movie so much because of what it's trying to say about how we are as a society. That's it. That is what makes Zootopia perfect. Apart from that, you know, I know I've been just rambling on about that. That is the strong suit of this movie. Everything else worked in the movie. The voice cast, the animation, the world that is created, the soundtrack, the story itself is engaging. It's funny. There's a cup that I laughed my butt off in this movie. I did. I had a couple of really good chuckles. There are some really great moments. The funniest moment, which is all in the trailers, the thing with the sloths, that is just genius writing in my opinion. I kind of wish they didn't show that in the trailers because everybody would have been laughing hysterically if they had just seen that in the movie for the first time um but i love the voice cast um i i can't remember her name um gina something plays the uh um the main character um uh, judy hops i thought she was fantastic in the role and jason bateman as the uh, as nick wilde i thought he killed it as well um yeah i Everybody was great. The voice cast. J.K. Simmons is in there. Um, there are a couple other. I just Idris Elba's in there. I I, I love the diverse cast uh, in a movie that that's saying so much about diversity and and where we stand as a society in this modern day. Um, I loved all that. The voice cast was perfect. The um, the um, what was I going to say? The the story itself really worked. It's your classic story of you know. Somebody not fitting in, trying to, you know, stand up for themselves and, and say the best about, uh, say the most about who they are as a person, or in this case, as an animal. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it just, it, it really, uh, it really, really spoke a lot to me. And that's just what is so good about Zootopia. Um, the, uh, the humor was great. This film has two of the most genius, and I say, I kid you not, genius, um, pop culture references to two of my favorite things in the world. There is one genius reference to one of the best films ever made, uh, in the 1970s. It's just perfect. It's like a parody in itself, and I love it. Um, and there is another reference to the greatest TV show of all time. It's so subtle. I didn't even pick up on it at first. There was this group of teenage boys in my theater. They were laughing hysterically because they got it. And then it processed in my head and it was like, oh my God, I can't believe they just threw that joke in a kid's movie. And it was so damn funny. The kids, it's going to fly right over their heads because they'd never seen the show. But just see the movie. You'll know what I'm talking about. Um... I loved everything about that. I laughed in this movie. I connected with the kids. That's another thing. Not only did they establish this world so well, instead of having Apple iPhones, we have carrots, okay? The brand carrots. Or instead of an iPad, we have iPaws, okay? I mean, <laughs> it's little, little things like that that I love so much. Um, uh, uh, Gazelle, parody of Adele. I love that. Um, voiced by Shakira. Shakira reference. The Shakira song in this movie is excellent. Um... <laughs> But another thing, the characters are, our two main characters are so fully fleshed out in this movie and so perfectly developed. They have so much depth. They have an incredible backstory. I really connected with Nick Wilde's backstory in this movie, just getting bullied upon, not even, not even having to do with race or, 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 you know, what he looked like. Just the, the topic of bullying in itself was hit me so hard for that character and made me give that much more of a, you know, emotionally, feel that much more emotionally attached to him than I expected I was going to. So good job, movie. Um, guys, yeah, I've said it a million times. Everything worked about Zootopia. I really can't think of a flaw. I thought this movie was perfect. It's one of the most important animated films I've seen. I, in terms of recent animated movies, Inside Out is still king for me. However, in terms of what movie is more important, Zootopia. Zootopia gives you the message, the main message that we are dealing with now as a race, as a group of people in on this planet. And it hits hard, it hits home so hard. That is why Zootopia just flat out works. I love it. I love this movie. I had a blast. I had fun. It's funny, it's creative, it's witty. 
it is soulful. It's filled with so much heart and so much attention to detail, all the little details and creating the world and making it come alive and making it feel vibrant and lively is what just tipped everything for me in this movie. I loved Zootopia. I recommend it to anyone. I know the sun's going down. It's getting really dark. Um, anybody who is doubting this movie, any older person, any adult who's doubting this movie, it's just a dumb kids movie. Do not think that at all. This is not a kids movie at all. As a matter of fact, I laughed more in this movie than the kids in my audience did. They'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it more. Zootopia is one for the ages. I am going to go high. This is one of the best movies I've seen all year so far, guys. I, I can't hide it. It's, it's amazing. Zootopia gets a 9.5 out of 10 or grade of an A. I highly, highly recommend this film. You will not regret seeing it. I kid you not. So, guys... My question goes to you. Thank you so much for watching my review. What did you guys think of Zootopia if you've seen it? If you haven't, do yourself a favor and go see it. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks so much as always for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.